ever since I was a wee lass, I've been a big fan of plaid. As you can see, all through the years, it was one of my favorite things to wear. You might say I was a plaid loving, cotton candy hating kind of individual. This tutorial is for all of you other plaid lovers. First, we're going to create a set of stripes, then we're going to turn it into plaid, and then we'll check it to make sure there's no seams. Then I'll show you how to improve on your digital plaid using masking and a brush from my plaid maker set. And you'll wind up with this really cool holiday plaid. Then we'll move on to the Mad for Plaid texture brushes and make this second irresistible plaid. We're starting inside of my website just because I want to show you a couple tools that we'll be using today. We're going to be going to the freebies and getting the winter plaid palette set for free, just instant download. And then also from my shop, I'm having a sale right now, everything's 50% off, and I'm going to be using this Mad for Plaid and Plaid Maker set. So let's just go look at that really quickly. Um, there are so many brushes, like 31 brushes in this thing, and I love it. And you don't need them to make plaid, but I think they make the plaid look very good. I recommend them highly. Okay, that said, let's go over to our tools and our pattern checker. We're just going to get this ready. And also I wanted to point out, if you have visited my site before or purchased things from me before, it used to be Pinecone and Pencil, but I decided to change my name so that it was more lined up with my YouTube channel, which I spend a lot of time on. Okay, now I'm going to go up to my three dots here, push that over to the side, and then open up um, Procreate here. I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our layers and we're going to drop on the layer one this first red from the winter plaid uh, collection or palette sorry. Okay and then we're going to create a new layer on top of that and then we're going to come over to our palette and we're going to skip this lighter color we'll come back to that in the end. So we're going to select that really dark color there we're going to go over to our selection tools and we want to have rectangle and color fill um, selected or enabled, so both blue. Okay, then I'm just going to draw a big rectangle here and another one right here. Actually, I think that's probably about the same size, thereabouts. All right, and then the next thing I want to do is um, same layer, different color. We're going to come to this nice little blue for a highlight, and then we're going to put a couple more in here. That looks pretty good. To make the plaid, all we have to do is go over to our layer two, gently slide it over, duplicate it, and then come over to the move and transform tool and select rotate 45 degrees twice. Now I have snapping on with a distance of three, the distance is default, and this just helps me uh, get this lined up edge to edge. So when I see golden lights there, I know I'm good. I know I haven't like left a little gap there that will make my seamless pattern not seamless <laughs> so this is great once we have it like that we are ready to test it come over to our wrench copy canvas paste and that takes everything and puts it on a layer above the last one selected which happened to be layer two so it's right up here on top and then we're going to open our pattern checker and drag and drop our pattern here so let's go ahead and drop it right there and this is an okay pattern it's okay but it can be so much better so let's go ahead and clear it and I'll show you what this can look like so let's go ahead and set that off to the side okay and we're gonna delete this top layer all right this now this layer two we're gonna tap it to get up in the uh, the layer menu and we're gonna select mask and we're gonna do the same thing with the layer below it mask and then we're gonna tap the layer masks and select invert for both of them Okay, and now with the mask selected, it's brighter blue. We're gonna, we, we already have white. We're gonna come over to our brushes and underneath the plaid maker, we're gonna select either the horizontal or the vertical, depending on which layer we're working on. So we've got horizontal already selected. Let's go find the horizontal layer. Okay, this is the horizontal layer. So let's go ahead and now we're gonna lay down color and reveal the stripes underneath because that's what masks do. So whenever it's black, it's hidden. And then when you put white, it reveals it. And so it'll make some nice, sort of stitch looks to it. So we're just going to just go for it here. We're going to select that other layer mask and go over and get our vertical. And where we overlap, we get this nice sort of knit stitch look to it. So it really does look like it's on fabric, which is really cool. Okay, so you can see right in here it's darker because it overlaps, which is what 
a plaid does. It looks just like that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, now the last step is we want to make our bottom uh, square look like fabric as well. So we're going to go down to the layer, first layer, layer one, and add a layer on top of it. And then we're going to go back to that color we skipped, this nice lighter uh, red right there. Whichever you had, either the vertical or the horizontal brush, just use that one. And you just lay it down and it will look like it is a piece of fabric. It's very cool. So now we're going to go back up to our top layer there and we're going to do what we did before. We're going to select our wrench, copy canvas, and paste, and then we're going to drag and drop that pattern into our uh, pattern checker. That looks so much better. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And okay, whoops, whoa. Okay, I'm kind of getting wild here. But you can see this looks very realistic. Before we leave, I wanted to show you Mad for Plaid and uh, um, go back to our palette here. And I'm going to select this light color pink and drop it into layer one here and then create a new layer. And then I'm going to select my uh, first brush here, or actually stamp. It's the Fancy Tartan Solid Fabric. And this is sized to go with those brushes. And I'm going to choose the next color here, which is that light pink color. And I'm going to just tap right in the center there. And that gives me that nice line. I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring that up just a bit so you can see it. All right, great. Okay, so next new layer, then we're going to go up to our next brush. And the next color is this nice dark color right here. And we're just going to lay down the plaid for that. And this that I'm making right now is the plaid that is in my banner for the uh, channel. So I've taken a sample of this and, uh, and I've used it for the banner behind my, my kitty cat and title. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now a new layer. And we're going to move on to the next brush and the next color, which is this nice green here. Now let's go to the next brush, which is this light accent. I'm going to create a new layer and then move on to a new color, which is this white color here. And then I'm going to lay this down. Now we're ready to move on to our very last brush. And let's see, um, a new layer and a new color. So this nice light blue here. Now let's zoom in so you can really see this plaid. I just love this plaid. It's so cool. Thanks for watching and sharing your time with me. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd like to recommend the next playlist on pattern making. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.